Just beginning after first responders found children living in a home with feces, garbage and unsafe conditions near 6th and Crestline. Scary as heck, trust me on that one. Now, Betsy Vitusik was home when everything unfolded. The fire department was alerted to the house because of a fire, but were shocked at what they found inside. The children ranging in age from 6 months to 12 years old were found in the home. Firefighters say they were dirty and appeared malnourished. Thankfully, no one was hurt in the fire and the children are safe tonight. CPS and local enforcement are trying to figure out who's responsible for these conditions. Esther Bauer breaks down what's next in a story you saw first on KXLY. Well, Nia, police are still investigating the details in this case and tell me there's no guarantee they'll press charges. The children's safety is their biggest priority. Being observant and checking for signs of neglect and abuse are something we should all be looking for. We didn't meddle in their business. Betsy Vitusek has lived in East Central for nearly 30 years. She sees renters come and go. She's friendly, but stays to herself. A little bit, now and then. Today, she's still recovering after the fire that started in her neighbor's backyard spilled garbage into hers. It's scary as heck, trust me, on that one. But what the fire department discovered inside the home was even scarier. Our main concern, obviously, first and foremost, is the safety of children and dependent people. First responders found children living in the deplorable conditions, but even these conditions don't guarantee they'll press charges. Just having a messy household um, or conditions which are which are deplorable doesn't necessarily rise to that level. As police investigate, child safety advocates say everyone can play a part to prevent these incidents. Just asking could end up really saving a young person's life. Asking yourself questions like are there changes in people coming and going from the house? Do the children have any marks on them and are there adults around the home often? You can call the child school or DCYF to check in on the family to keep more kids safe in the future. And we hear it all the time, see something, say something, but child advocates say people also need to listen for signs of distress. They say if you see, hear, or suspect a child is in danger, to call 911 immediately. Reporting in studio tonight, Esther Bauer, 4 News Now.